Hello, everyone. I was having a conversation last night on a live stream, and the conversation uh, turned to immigration. Of course, this is a difficult and complicated topic to cover right now, given all that's going on, and it's not exactly like it's a new problem. We've had in the U.S. immigration issues for many, 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 many years, specifically on the topic of illegal immigration. We discussed the, let's say, contingencies that would need to take place in regards to sort of just, quote-unquote, getting rid of all the illegal immigrants. And obviously there are a lot of complications to doing that, not only to the logistics of it, but also the ethical considerations of just uprooting people that may have been living here for a long time with children and lives and friends, and even if they didn't come here uh, officially, they may have otherwise been good citizens on every other score. I've been thinking about this for a while, and I have an idea. I'm sure someone has already offered this somewhere. I have not done any research on this. So if you hear this idea of mine and you say, oh, that's bullshit, scribe, somebody's already thought of this, they already tried it, or they already proposed it and it's already failed, I'll, I'll, ta I'll, I'll, I'll accept it. I mean, I don't claim to have any kind of grand insight into this. So if you, if you hear this and you can point out that I'm a complete doofus, hey, I'm fine with that too. But at least I thought I'd put it out there. So here's my idea. And it's based on the notion that given how many undocumented or illegal immigrants there are in the country, and that it is not feasible to simply, quote-unquote, round them up and just, you know, kick them out of the country, and it might not even be ethical or humane to do so, here's my idea that tries to take into account the necessary pragmatism of the situation, but also contains the personal responsibility and personal merit that the American values tend to encourage and uh, cherish. So the idea would be, and I'm not going to use specific years here because God knows when this could happen or how long it would take, but uh, this is just a sketch of an idea. And this would have to be some super duper secret. I mean, like, they would have to keep this a secret up until the very moment that the president whoever that would be, goes on camera and makes an address to the nation. But the president makes an address to the nation on, and I'm just, for the sake of argument, I was going to say uh, March 1st. Like he appears on the, the television on March 1st, out, out of the blue, and says, to the effect of, as of this announcement, this very moment of this announcement, if you have, and here, so here's my condition. So this is what, this is what you'd have to say, or something to this effect. And I've got it written down here, so. Pardon me while I read from a script. As of this announcement, if you are undocumented in this country, you must have proof that you have been physically present in the country for at least 30 months at the time of the announcement. Anyone having entered the country illegally any later than that does not qualify for this. So what you must do if you are undocumented as of the announcement you must register your presence in the country with the government. And I'm thinking, like, there'd be some kind of station set up or they'd have some kind of thing at, you know, your local post office or whatever. Like I said, this would have to be a super secret operation, especially, uh, most especially, the timing of the announcement. But anyway, uh, you register yourself with the government and submit yourself to a full vetting procedure to verify your identity, your place of origin, and the term of your residency in the United States. You must not have been convicted of any Class A felonies while you have been in the United States, nor can you commit any or be convicted of any uh, during the time of the ensuing grace period uh, as of the announcement. Uh, the grace period will last three years in which people can safely reveal themselves without fear of deportation to the government. And after you've registered within that three-year period after the announcement, uh, you would then have to complete all the same requirements that anyone else would have to to become officially a citizen of the United States. So you'd have to, you know, prove that you can speak English. You'd have to take all the tests. You'd have to, um, as I said, you'd have to verify your, your good moral character. I mean, some, and, and some deadline for the completion of those things would have to be set up, um, like, 
you know, as of the day you register with the government, you have X amount of time to complete all of the uh, uh, necessary requirements to become a citizen. Now, what are the necessary requirements to become a citizen? Uh, according to the um, government, you must be at least 18 years old uh, as of the time that you've essentially registered. You must be a permanent resident for at least five years. Now, this is where there would have to be some waiving of the present conditions. And again, this is this is the pragmatism part of the whole thing. You know, we can't uh, do anything about the fact that there are people that have been here for a long time that have just never been uh, discovered or never had their citizenship status become an issue. We just have to understand that there's no way around the fact that we have people in this country who are undocumented and there are a lot of them. The fair thing to do, I think, would be to give them a chance, and, and but definitely draw a line of you can safely come out and reveal yourself, become an official citizen where you get all the benefits so long as you go through all the same hoops as everyone else, with the understanding that, yes, in this situation, some accommodations are going to be afforded undocumented immigrants that would not otherwise be given to your average person trying to come into the country and become a citizen. That's just the reality. But it's a limited reality because anybody who doesn't meet the, the qualifications of time in the country, and especially anybody who tries to come into the country after the announcement, does not count. Basically, it's a, it's a way of sort of cleaning the slate and setting a new benchmark as to who is a, is a valid resident of the country and giving everybody a chance to earn that in some fashion. Now, obviously, not everybody's going to come forward. A lot of people are going to be scared about their convictions or something else. And again, that's just pragmatism. Uh, accommodations would also have to be made for minor children that had been brought across that, as of the announcement, are still minors. There's, there's a lot of moving parts to this. There's a lot of things that are probably wrong with it. And I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to have you guys uh, give me some other ideas in the comments, but I can't think in concept of a more efficient, pragmatic, and fair solution, such as it is, to the issue of illegal immigration or the, the number of people that are already in this country that doesn't involve some dystopian, you know, rounding up of people and papers please kind of thing going on. So that's basically it. I could babble on for a while on this, but that's the essential idea. I'll post the rough sketch of the, the steps I had in mind. Um, but yeah, what, what do you think? Is my idea even feasible? Do you have a better idea? Am I repeating something someone has already done or tried or offered in the past and I just have no idea of it because I'm ignorant? But anyway, as always, thank you for listening.